Um, Monday night, there was an indication that Biden is, I don't know who came up with the phrase, leaning toward canceling a teeny tiny sliver of student debt. Federal, you know, a student debt that was accumulated through federal student loans. $10,000 for borrowers with annual incomes below $125,000. That's a, in other words, a means-tested idea that would fall completely short of the call for this administration to wipe at least $50,000 off the books for all borrowers. Now, you know my position. If you don't, let me restate it. My position is there should not be anything such as student debt. What the hell? University-level education, college-level education, whether it's two-year college, um, four-year baccalaureate college, whatever it is, should be absolutely, totally, completely free to the student. Sure, everybody in in the the academic universe should be paid. The professors, uh, the the groundskeepers, uh, the cooks, the, uh, um, you know, whoever's involved. But we can afford it if we can afford close to one trillion dollars every goddamn year on weaponry, on death and destruction. We can't afford to provide free education for young people. Of course we can. It's just a matter of having the will to do it. The economy will not collapse. Capitalism will not disappear. Of course, the Christian terrorists would hate it because then all of a sudden, all of the young people in this country would have access to higher education, which, among other things, completely blows a hole big enough you could drive a universe through it in this religious bullshit. So, of course, the fascist Christians are going to say, oh, well, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But anyway, according to CNN, uh, Biden's uh, announcement of student debt cancellation, which which is a misnomer. It is not student debt cancellation. God damn it. But it could come as early as Wednesday. That's today. That's according to CNN. So by the time you hear this, maybe Biden has made his pronouncement. Ten thousand dollars. That's that's not even that doesn't even cover interest that some of these kids are stuck with. And they're not kids anymore. They're people in their 40s. And I think in some instances older, who are still struggling to pay this shit off. Oh, and by the way, as a subtext of this, whatever happened to Pell Grants? Whatever happened to providing Pell Grants to uh, incarcerated people to help them get an education while they were in a lockup? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, the Christian terrorists took that away. Well, go to prison and get an education? Oh, no, no. Go to Christian, uh, go to prison and get raped? Oh, that's okay. Go to prison and get disease. Oh, that's okay. Go to prison and lose your mind. Oh, that's okay. But go to prison and get an education. Oh, no. Jesus wouldn't have liked it. God, I hate these people. Um, CNN also reported the other day uh, and didn't offer any details about this, but they reported, quote, administration officials have also recently discussed the possibility of additional forgiveness for specific subsets of the population, end quote. Well, again, uh, to me, this is uh, uh, left of center gibberish, political gibberish, bullshit. Cancel the goddamn debt. Just cancel it. Cancel it. Uh, According to uh, what I've read, the average federal student loan debt balance is right around $40,000. That's according to uh, an organization called the Education Data Initiative. $40,000. And Representative Cori Bush, excuse me, Democrat of Missouri, tweeted, quote, student debt is a nearly two trillion dollar crisis. The president must cancel student debt, all of it, end quote. 
I agree thoroughly with Representative Bush. Two trillion dollars. I mean, what do we expect from our young people and, 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 and the people who are not, not so young? I, I mean, if you're in your uh, mid, late 20s, early 30s, into your 40s, in some cases, early 50s, okay, you're not exactly young anymore. You're certainly not old. You certainly am not fully established into middle age. You're still a youngish person. But what do we expect people to do with this kind of debt? And what about the kids who have the necessary skills, mental power, intellect to handle a college education, but do not have the resources? What happens to them? Or the kids that get into a college and then have to work to provide some or all of his or her tuition, and all of a sudden the load becomes too much. This is so fucked up. I, I mean, it really is. You talk about a country that has its priorities completely skewed. We will spend a trillion dollars a year on weapons of death and destruction. But we have to have great, big, long, unending debates about canceling 10,000 stinking dollars of, of student debt. Wow. Wow. Um, now, people who are arguing in favor of the full-scale debt cancellation argue that Biden has the legal authority to order the Education Department to eliminate all outstanding student loan debt. And, and that, would, that would come with economic and political benefits and would steer clear of this bureaucratic bullshit, this mess that inevitably accompanies Programs that are so-called means-tested. Well, do you really need this? Biden could do it. With the proverbial stroke of a pen. And, and, and last year, if you remember, Biden told the Education Secretary, Miguel Cardona, to compile a memo on presidential authority to cancel student debt without congressional authorization but that document that one assumes uh, Cardona has put together, uh, we don't know, has it? It hasn't been released. Nobody knows. And it's reported that, that the Biden White House has been, quote, deeply divided over the political and economic effects of loan forgiveness with officials such as Susan Rice, the head of Biden's Domestic Policy Council, arguing against broad-based student debt cancellation during these uh, discussions. Uh, and the White House Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, has argued that it would galvanize a base of young voters increasingly frustrated with the president. That's what the New York Times reported on this issue. <clears throat> Bernie Sanders, uh, staff director, you know, Sanders, senator from Vermont, uh, his name is Warren Gunnels. Uh, he contended on social media uh, a couple of days ago that, quote, Republicans will attack for giving $10,000 in means-tested student debt as ferociously as if Biden canceled all student debt, end quote. That's very true, Mr. Gunnels. The only problem is why, uh, and I ask this respectfully, why do you keep referring to them as Republicans, I guess because they call themselves that. Huh? They are not Republicans. They're Christian terrorists. Um, however, Mr. Gunnels said that the, the former choice, $10,000 in means-tested student debt cancellation, would, in Gunnell's words, quote, demoralize tens of millions of Americans who will still be drowning in debt, end quote. And he, I guess he tweeted this, quote, think big or go home, cancel all of it. Amen to that, huh? Now, the, the, a lot of advo uh, advocacy organizations have also warned President Biden against canceling just 10 grand in student debt. Uh, the head of the NAACP recently compared that kind of bullshit relief to, quote, pouring a bucket of ice water on a forest fire, end quote. 
And in an analysis that was released the other day, Matt Bruning uh, of the People's Policy Project uh, noted that $10,000 in student debt forgiveness would, quote, wipe out the student loan balance of around 31% of student debtors while cutting in half or more the student debt balances of another 21% of student debtors. But, but to, to, to so many people, so-called progressives, among which I would place myself, that's nowhere near enough. I mean, why leave any of it? And a co-founder of the Debt Collective, which is uh, uh, actually, it's this country's first debtors union. Huh. Um, that person, Astra Taylor, said, quote, for millions of people, $10,000 doesn't cover the interest. And it won't lower the monthly payments on what's left of their debt. It's just, it, it's just so much bullshit. And I expect bullshit, lies, deception, half-truths, misdirection. I expect all of that. From the Christian terrorists. But poor, naive Mikey, I still freak out when it comes from someone like the president of the United States when the president is Joe Biden. It's just, I don't know. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.